I'm Aaron from Vonedog.com and part two of the Sony Xperia TL4 review starts in just a second. But first, special thanks to our partners at Best Buy Mobile for giving us devices like this for use in our One Paul Bandit giveaway game. When you walk into Best Buy Mobile, you won't deal with rebates. You'll walk out the door paying 100 bucks or 200 or 300 if you're a big spender like that without dealing with any rebates. You won't deal with paperwork waiting eight to 10 weeks. You know what, I hate paperwork, I'm sure you do too. At Best Buy Mobile, they'll take good care of you and keep it rebate free. Let's take a look at this, Xperia TL. Is this the device? We'll find out, it's part two of the review and it starts right now. Part two of a review video of the Sony Xperia TL. It's a new Sony device and it's you know represented by Skyfall, the new 007 movie. I almost said Skyfire. I was like, wait a second, that's not right. Skyfall, which is the new Daniel Craig movie. So if you want the James Bond phone, this is the device for you. But outside of being an awesome phone that even Daniel Craig is cool enough to carry, it's got a good price point as well. 100 bucks gets you this device on AT&T and it's packing some nice specifications as well. A 1.5 gigahertz dual core Snapdragon S4 CPU, a 4.55 inch HD display, so beautiful quality there. A 13 megapixel camera with 1080p HD video recording, which we're gonna jump right into right now and take a look at the camera performance. Data storage, let's go ahead and change that around. I'll show you some of the features on this device. We'll bring over the HTC Windows Phone 8X for comparison purposes here so we can take some pictures. And I can change the resolution, the flash, self-timers, smile detection, which I can turn on, capturing method, shutter sound, quick launch, uh, and more. So I can come in here to quick launch, for example. Launch and capture. Let's see what else we've got in here that I was working with earlier. Sweet panorama, that's the one that I thought was pretty cool. Normal front camera, so we're gonna do scene recognition here. And of course, I've got the option to change back and forth between video and between physical images, or uh, still pictures as well. And of course, the flash is turned on. Let's turn the flash off. And let's see what we can do. Actually, I want to get something else. I want to get something black, the iPhone. That might be a little bit better. We'll take a picture. And you can see what that picture looks like. So I've been relatively impressed with image quality on this device. It's nothing, um, it's, it's kind of frustrating because it's 13 megapixel sensor. That said, I kind, of, I kind of find that I like at least the pictures on the One X, the One X Plus, the Galaxy S3, the Note 2, a little bit more, and of course the iPhone 5 as well. A little bit more than I do on this one, but again, despite, you know, image, or uh, megapixels aren't everything, this phone could have a 27 billion megapixel image sensor, but that said, or image, uh, or shooter rather, but that said, it may not be the best on the market. So, and of course, it's missing some specific or missing some features that other competing devices have. So, we'll take a look here at HTC. So, still very clear, very easy to use. It's a nice camera by all counts. I'm just saying that I've seen uh, some, at least in my testing, they're a little bit better. I find that this works really well outdoors as well. Uh, I took some pictures before I did a hard reset a couple of days ago, and I was uh, really impressed there. So, obviously, I'm going to bring up my laptop here, and we'll take a look. This. And let's see what we've got here. And you can see, of course, apparently there's a hair on my keyboard right there, but you can see, again, very clear, very, the clarity is fantastic here. Been really impressed all across the board with that. So the camera is relatively nice, and of course you've got folders as well. And I deliberately waited this time, once I did the reset, to install speed test and quadrant standard, because I wanted to show you the Google Play Store, and I wanted to show you how fast it operated on 4G LTE. Somebody asked me for that, so we're gonna go back in here and do this from the very beginning. And I'm going to put in my password, excuse me one second. Doing it from the beginning on camera so you can actually take a look here and see what the Play Store looks like. We're going to sign in. Let's take our sweet time here. at and LTE rolling. There we go. Okay, we'll skip that. We'll back up and restore. And then we're going to accept. And let's go into the Play Store and download these ourselves so we can take a look. Obviously, at the Play Store itself. I'm going to go here to Quadrant, for example. And we'll take a look. So you can see, again, screenshots here, description here, reviews. So no real changes to the overall look and feel of that, that you do get magazines out of the gate now uh, in the Play Store. So that should be installing right now. And then, of course, I'm going to go in here and do speedtest.net, and we're going to install that uh, as well. So it looks like those are downloading as we speak. Let's see what we've got here installing. So we're going to go ahead and open this one up and take a look. Uh, it's speed test, and we're going to bring it over to megabits per second. We're going to agree to that, sure. And then we're going to take a look, make sure it's not on Wichita. Let's see if we can get it on Dallas. We have to do one speed test before the GPS locks in properly. But we'll begin the test here and take a look. Now, ATT speeds have been really impressive in the Dallas metro area or Metroplex. Been really impressed all around. 16 megabits per second. I've definitely seen it as high as 30 to 35 megabits per second in the area. So very impressive all around. And on an upload speed of about 7, 6.5 megabits per second. Very impressive uh, on that front as well. So 17.3 megabits per second, 6.65 megabits per second there. And of course, 
I hit home and go back and we'll take a look at Quadrant Standard down here. So we'll go ahead and actually, I don't know why I didn't install. Let's go back to Quadrant and make sure. Come on, Quadrant. And then we'll load up here. We're gonna install that, bam. Let's get this downloaded. And let's take a look and open it up as well. Now I found that call quality has been relatively decent on this device. What I did find, it's got a 1,850 milliamp hour battery. That's definitely pushing it on the low end of the spectrum for 4G LTE. At least for me, I found that that was getting me about 10 to 12 hours with moderate use, calling, texting, emailing, uh, browsing the web a little bit, downloading some applications via Google Play uh, before I did the reset for the video. But uh, you know, I'd say with, on a day's use, with moderate use, somewhere between 10 and about 12 hours for me, maybe you can eat a little bit more out of it. That said, it's not removable. It's a 1,850 milliamp hour battery. I would have liked to have seen a bigger battery, maybe 2,100 milliamp hours or 2,300 at a minimum. But that said, you're paying 100 bucks and you're getting a really nice device spec-wise, so perhaps that's just an area where they had to cut back to make it uh, affordable at the 99.99 price point. So. That's something uh, something to think about. Quadrant standard running right now. Call quality's been good. The earpiece is nice and loud. Speakerphone, decent there as well. I did find, I tested this on what I consider to be the ultimate test, calling your mom. And uh, I called my mom on this and she said the, uh, the earpiece was nice and loud. Actually, she didn't say it that technically. She was like, you sound really good on this phone. But uh, I'm just kidding. Uh, she knows I love her, but um, you know I gave I always do that as a test just to see how it sounds. She was really impressed with the uh, with the speaker overall speaker on this device. So 4,706 on Quadrant Standard, 4,706. Not a bad score by any means, but we've definitely seen faster from the Optimus G. We've seen faster from quite a few uh, different devices on the market right now. But again, keep in mind this is the new hundred dollar price point and you're getting a nice device for a hundred bucks. So it's kind of like the uh, the trend with these devices is kind of shifting upward. It's like all the $200 devices are now moving into the hundred dollar price tier. All these super fast high end quad core devices are moving up to two and $300. So something to keep in mind there. So all in all, you know, I'm really impressed with this device. I find it to be a really neat device. I look forward to putting this together in some dog fights with this and something like the HTC Windows Phone 8X because you've got some hot, and I say this every year, but really this year, you've got some incredible choices on the market. For you, for your family members, for your friends, whoever, there are a ton of devices to choose from. And sadly, or not sadly, this is actually great, but for somebody like me that makes a living off of comparing devices, it is a little bit sad. They're all great devices. It's really hard to choose which one is the best for you. So I think for a lot of people, it's going to depend on ecosystem, what you prefer, much like you know your favorite color or your favorite food. There's going to be a user interface you prefer. There's going to be a company you prefer. There's going to be, and that doesn't mean the other person's wrong. It just means that you have your personal preferences and that is a good thing. That said, I'm really impressed with this device and I can't wait to put it to the test even more in the next couple of days. Keep it locked on PhoneDog.com for continuing coverage of the Sony Xperia TL. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash PhoneDog. Let me know what you think of this device on Twitter at PhoneDog underscore Aaron and on Facebook at facebook.com slash AB. Thanks so much for watching. Keep it locked on the site for continuing coverage. And as always, we'll see you next time.